Hi, it's John Coast Mesa R&D. Today we've got the little sedan out here on the trailer. And I think we're going to be changing the shocks. And if you take a look at this, uh, this is a shock that I modified. Go on here. I welded a heim joint on the top and just leaving the pin on the bottom. And this is a rather inexpensive shock. It's a Monroe sensor track for a 54, I believe about 61 or 2 Chevy Corvette, it's a front shock, it has pin pin. So you cut off the end and you weld on the hind joint. And we're going to go ahead and install these on the Fiat and we'll show you how that's kind of done. I'm going to remove the bolt on the top of the shock and then we'll remove the nut down here on the bottom of the shock and we'll re remove the shock and then we'll install. Well, here's the old shock. Uh, this is a shock that I modified oh, several years ago. And if you look down here, you can see a little welded spot at the bottom of the shock. I drilled a hole in the shock, pumped out about 175 uh, cc's of uh, brake fluid or uh, shock fluid, and replaced it with 30 weight motor oil, and then welded the thing back up. And it actually works pretty good. All right, I made a couple little spacers here that's going to have to go on either side of the heim joint there to make up the space that's required for the original shock and now we're going to put it on well after rolling around on the ground sweating a little bit we did get the uh, shocks in and you can see the top uh, portion there see the other one over here and you can see the bottom down here uh, well, all went on very very easy um, didn't have to make any modifications so if you want to know more about this modification or buy the shocks from me modified, give me a call here at Coast Mace R&D. We'll see you soon.